Yo, what is going on guys? It's Cyberhorn92 here. Hope everyone have a wonderful day. And would you like to introduce what did you do at the Las Vegas um, case tournament? Yeah, um, so my name is Christian. Uh, we had a 115-man case tournament. Um, seven rounds of Swiss. I went 6-1 with Sky Striker and, and finished fifth place in standings. Sky and then top eight split. Ooh, nice. And what, what made you want to play Sky Striker? Uh, it's my favorite deck of all time, so I've been playing it like pretty much. <laughs> For still, sure. even even when Engage was banned, I was still playing it. That's true, and also Sky Striker, um, getting more supports, I believe. So, um, very yeah, it's gonna be busted soon. So, it's really good this format too, since uh, with the IO hit and every other deck, I like less consistent. So, it's that's pretty true, decent. That's true. All right, ready when you are. <clears throat> awesome. So yeah, starting off the main deck, obviously Ray is Bay. Uh, no Ray, no way. So if you don't see Ray, just skip the game, pretty much. Oh. No, I'm just kidding. Um, uh, <laughs> no, it's cool. Um, obviously three Ray, nothing, uh, just standard. Um, next, I only play one Rose. You only play one Rose if you have the Starlight. Ooh, if you don't have starlight? the Starlight, you play two. Sheesh. All right. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, jokes aside though. But I'm uh, so the reason why I play one Rose, I don't like using Rose as a starter. I use Rose as utility. So I use it for its graveyard effect or to chain block a Gari. You don't ever want to use this as your starter. Because if you normal summon this guy, it's going to get DP pop, it's going to get punishment, you're not going to play. So you never want to see Rose as your starter. I'd rather see five spells than have Rose in my hand as my starter. Yeah. So that's the reason behind one Rose. That's yeah, true, that's true. And doesn't that negate an extra deck monster, I believe so? Yeah, exactly. So this utility, it's, I use it for its utility, so it can negate like, um, you can, it can negate anything when it uh, when you kill a extra deck monster. Mm -hmm. Or specifically in the extra monster zone, you can negate, it comes back and negates anything. So you can, oh. you can even negate the Dragoon. Sure. So yeah, just use it for its utility. I don't use that as a starter. Mm. Next, I play the one Panga Tops because I blind second. Um, just a good flex spot. Uh, how this card really? This oh, yeah. card was really good. Yeah. Did you feel comfortable playing that card for this event? Yeah, yeah, no, it was great. Um, obviously Panga Tops by itself usually takes out two cards, so I think it's just amazing. It's a two. For, it's always a two for one. It's it's not bad at all. So yeah, I I do like playing this card in the main. Um, next, I have the um, uh, the Bricks, one Celestial, one Dasher. Um, yeah, nothing more to say about it, it's the materials. Obviously, with that, I play two Fusion Destiny, because it's at two. Nothing more to say about that. Um, if, if you're not playing the DPE package, it's a lot harder. You can play without the DPE package, but you're, the game will be a lot slower. Um, where with the DPE, it's, uh, you have a higher ceiling, and, and you can also kill faster. Um, next, the card I'm playing is three Pot of Prosperity. Uh, a lot of striker players aren't playing this card. Um, the reason why I play this is just, it adds way, it just adds more consistency to the deck to see a starter. Um, you want to use this to try to get Ray or Fusion Destiny. Um, that's more I can say, but it just helps it um, be more consistent. So I like this card a lot. Um, you, all, you usually only banish three cards with this, so and I'll show you what I usually banish when I when I go to my extra deck. Um, still in the main, I have two um, uh, Forbidden Droplet. Um, yeah, just a good, just a good going second card. Obviously, it's also a stop to scythe because right now everyone's the whole format is just scythe turbo. But yeah, two droplet was insane. Yeah, true. Oh, uh, will you play a third droplet or you want it? Um, I'll get to that. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. Um, sure. next I play obviously the one of so one rota for your fourth ray, uh, one call by the grave, one terraforming. Um, yeah, just pretty standard one of that you play in the deck. It's really good. Nothing more I can say about it. Um, next we go to her striker spell, so obviously the one engage, your best card. Um, I play Eagle Booster. A lot of striker players aren't playing Eagle Booster. Um, this card honestly overperformed for me. This card is insane. Um, this card guarantees me to um, uh, live an extra turn if I have three spells in grave, so it's a turn. So it's pretty much a turn skip. Um, and it also ensures that Anaconda and Kagari go through. Um, so this card honestly overperformed for me. It honestly, by itself, just won me like two or three games. Wow. Uh, this card's insane. People should definitely play this card. Um, next, obviously, the one Area Zero. Um, if you ever have Terraforming and Area Zero both in your hand, um, it doesn't conflict because you just target Terraforming with Area Zero. So, that's the reason behind that. Um, next, one Hornet Drone, obviously. One Afterburner. Uh, one Multi. Uh, just standard stuff. I played two Shark Cannons. Um, the reason for two Shark Cannons is because it's a, D it's a Scythe DPE format, so this isn't out to Scythe as well. And it's uh, obviously it benches DP, so I'm putting two in the main is really good. Uh, obviously, the best striker um, uh, interruption is with anchor, so you played at three. Another out to scythe. This deck has so many scythe outs; it's insane. True, 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 true. Yeah. And then so that's um 
the the spells. But now it's off. Uh, this is my hand trap lineup. So I played two Ash. Um, two Ash is kind of um uh, the reason why I played two and not three is because Ash is kind of mediocre right now. Where um it's really good against Rogue, but against meta decks it's okay. It's just okay. Um, so I only played it at two. I don't want to see two in my hand at all. So just two Ash. Um, two Ogre. This card's insane because it's obviously stops some um, the um the Brave Engine and um using this on Needle Fiber. I've used this. I've used this on Needle Fiber a lot. It just stops her turn pretty much. So this card's pretty good. It overperformed definitely. Um, yeah, can't say much about this card. It's pretty good. I keep it at two. Um, next to Nibiru, this card was also one of my MVPs. Mm -hmm. Um, people weren't expecting this card because people, a lot of people are saying Nibiru is bad right now because of the Brave Engine. So people aren't respecting this card. Um, I've, Nib, Nib has won me like three, three games by itself. This card's insane. Um, people just don't expect it. And then I'll, obviously when I have Nibiru and another hand trap, um, I can, so we, people will, people think they're safe because they have Griffin Rider. But if you have Nibiru, Nibiru and like an, any other hand trap, you're able to still break their board. So, that's good. Next I play 3 Effect Veiler. And then I played 3 um, uh, Imperm. Um, I do want to say something. Um, before, I recently got these ulti Imperms. Um, before I had like this, the um, Ultra Rares and stuff. I saw the ulti way more. Um, yesterday, I, I swear to God, I saw Imperm every opening hand. This card was like glued to my hand. So invest wow. in your ulti Imperms. <laughs> that's yeah. crazy. Yeah, this card was just stuck in my hand. So, that was really helpful. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's it for the main deck. So twelve hand traps, and then, um, yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Before getting to yeah. your Cyro Extra, uh, would you play uh, Dirt and Nibiru? Um, I wouldn't because um, I don't know. Because Nibiru by itself is okay. Mm -hmm. Um, obviously it did overperform for me, but I thought it was just fine at two. Um, as far as my deck list goes, I honestly don't think I'd change anything right now. I think it was just actually pretty perfect. That's good. That's good. All right, yeah. Cyro Extra, your choice. Yeah, we'll go to the um uh, Extra deck. So. Obviously, the best card is three is Kagari, so I play this at three. Um, yeah, nothing I can say, nothing more I can say about it. It's your best striker card or striker monster. Um, next, I only play two Shizuku. Um, the reason why that, for that is because I cut the third Shizuku for a. Um, I'll show it to you. Um, I cut the third Shizuku for uh, the Dark Tremor. The reason why is because. Um, I opted to play in Dark because um, Dark's most busted effect is its graveyard effect where it can search Ray. So if I don't have a starter, I usually just Widow Anchor, Shark Cannon, two monsters from my opponent, make Dark, and then I crash Dark to search Ray. So um, that's the reason why I opted to play it. And then the third Shizuku, I didn't miss it at all because um, usually with the third Shizuku, I just banish it off Prosperity. Um, so instead of banishing the third Shizuku, now I just banish Dark instead. So I don't miss the third Shizuku at all. Um, moving on, I have... Play two Hayate. Um, you never play three. Um, yeah, two Hayate is um, just fine. Um, obviously, the one Kaina, um, just to just to stop yourself from getting OTK'd, pretty much. And obviously, if you're down to like one minute, you use the Kaina effect to like um, gain life points and stuff. And then um, one Zeke, obviously, just a good utility card when you have a bonus monster to like lick it away. Um, then I am playing the Hulk uh, package, so one Neil Fiber, one Celine, and one Axis Code. Um, just standard stuff. Um, I think every striker player should be playing a Selene package. It's just too good not to like play it. True, true. Um, next, obviously, then you have Anaconda and then uh, DP to round up your extra deck. Um, yeah, pretty much it. Do you have any questions about the extra? Uh, no, I think everything is good. Um, I was surprised you were playing the Hyper Fiber. Uh, does usually people play that in Shrek? Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, it's it's pretty common. Some people have been cutting it, but um. I just think it's just so necessary, just because it helps break boards, mm -hmm. and um, uh, not break boards. It helps go for game, because mm -hmm. um, obviously you just need one monster and you tuner this and mix it makes this, it makes access code. Uh, makes sense. Um, and you need access, and yeah, I don't know. I think it's just really just a super way to cheat out access code. True, true, true. So I think I, I, I did not like. I don't, I mean, like, I used it all the time, so. Yeah. I can't like say much more about it. Yeah, sure. It's plus, awesome. Plus, you save your resources as well. You can use. Yeah. Um, and then uh, moving on to side deck, uh, one of my MVPs was Token Collector. Um, this card is just really insane um, against Sword Soul and all those um, uh, and Brave Engine as well. There's also the base deck that uses like a lot of tokens off Ororodon and um, Mare Mare. So Token Collector was actually really really strong against those decks. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna be I'm gonna keep playing this card for a while. Um, next I play three Droll and Lockbirds. Um, yeah, just for any any combo decks, Drytron and 
you know, still for based as well and mm-hmm. three axis stuff. Three Lancia, this card was really good against um, Flunder. It just blew out Flunder, and then against PK, it's really good. That's sort of like the only team matchup you honestly use it for. And then I decided to send against Eldlick because I don't have any other better cards to sign for Eldlick. Um, next, I play three Cosmic Cyclones um, just for the Eldlick matchup and for any back row decks. I don't play like Red Reboot or anything like that. Um, I do play the one Duster with it. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, I just had a flex spot to so Duster with it. And then for the to round off my extra deck, I played one Ash Blossom, so I played a third Ash in my side deck. The reason for that is because if I play a mirror match or if I play Eldlick, um, I side off, like, obviously so you side out, like, Nibiru's Bailers, and you just put in the third Ash and other cards. And then I played, um, I to round off my, I played a third Droplet. So, for sure, for sure. yeah. Uh, that was, yeah. So that, that goes off for my extra deck. Um, I mean, side deck, so. Yep. Yeah, do you have any questions on it? Uh, yes. Uh, do you know what was your matchup and what was your loss? Um, my one loss was Dragon Link. Um, I don't really want to talk too much about that loss because um, it came down to like a ruling error, so I don't want. I don't really want to talk much about it. Okay, totally understand. Um, so that's about it for that matchup. Um, but if, uh, aside from that, my other matchups was Flunder, which I two owed, and then I played back to back D Hero, uh, Destiny Hero decks. Um, it was actually kind of kind of hard to play against them, but um, still managed to pull through because um, they can't beat over. Eagle Booster. <laughs> true, true. Eagle Booster won those games from honestly. That's good. And then two Sword Soul. I'm Striker has the best matchup against Sword Soul. I think I'm I honestly haven't lost a matchup against Sword Soul. I'm fifteen I'm like fifteen wins, zero losses against Sword Soul. Wow. So, Congrats. Yeah, and then the one, last matchup was uh PK Brave, which um honestly I don't know how I won that game because I opened Celestial and Dasher game one. And then we grinded for a bit and ended up picking the W. So I'm not sure how I won that game. I just, I guess I just outplayed him. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, so those were my matchups. Yep. Uh, two more questions, then let you go. Uh, I was surprised you didn't play. They're telling me you won. I was wondering what's your theory on that. Um, so you played. You played. There could be only one if you're going first. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, um, but since I'm a blind second deck, I chose not to play it because going TC Boo going second isn't that good. That's true. Um, going first is probably better. Um, but right now, even if you're going first, I don't think TC Boo is that good right now. It's because, um, with the Brave engine, um, they're all different types, so it doesn't do anything to, TC Boo doesn't do anything to that. Mm-hmm. And then the Eclipse Ball just bounces it. Yeah, that's So, like, true. yeah, TC Boo is bad right now. And also, um, I don't know if, you, I don't know if anyone noticed, but I wasn't playing Mystic Mine either. A lot of decks, a lot of Striker decks play one Mystic Mine. Um, but I chose not to play it because, obviously, because of the Brave engine, and how they just bounce the Mystic Mine. Okay. So that's the reason why I'm not playing it. Yeah, and plus there's like a lot of uh, back room removals. So yeah, actually. especially with three skull drain up right now, so people are like prepared for it. So yeah, yeah. that's true. And before ending this video, uh, do you want to give any shout outs? Yeah, um, shout out my friends. So I have my boy Berlin, um, Nick, Junior, Ryan. They always loan me my card. They always loan me cards too and help me like max m- max rarity my deck. Obviously, play <laughs> that nice with them a lot. So. Um, yeah, no, those guys are awesome. Shout out to them and shout out to um, uh, Brian and uh, the People's Card Shop for hosting the case tournament. Sounds good, sounds good. And then obviously shout out to my boy Robin and this channel. Yo, you already click, know. Yo, you gotta, <laughs> click, you gotta subscribe, hit the like button, <laughs> oh, notification shoot, bell, all that stuff, man. Shout out my guy right here, bro. You already know. If you guys made a video all the way to the end, we'd like to say thank you. Your boy Starborn92 is signing out. Peace.